Hey, everybody. Welcome back to today's Compliance Corner from Prevail. I am still Orly. And she's still Noel. And uh, we fired that chick. I don't think we ever hired that chick called Wanda. Yeah. She was a little bit too on edge. If you didn't see our Wanda video, you should go see it on our on our YouTube page. It, it's um, an interesting introduction to insider threats is what I'll say. It is indeed. I would completely agree with that. And Wanda yeah. is a very interesting character, to say the least. Yep. Yep. I hope the uh, folks who made a fish called Wanda don't come after us for copyright. <laughs> I doubt it. I yeah. Doubt it. So what are we talking about today in Compliance Corner, Compliance 101, Noel? Uh, we're talking about some things that people are constantly confusing. So we we thought about having a Compliance 101 session, you know, the foundations of compliance. Yep. The building blocks. The building blocks of compliance. And the basic, basic, basic building blocks are things that people are constantly sort of crossing over and saying, oh, well, this has to do with that and that has to do with this. And it's like, that's not true. They're three of my favorite things, Orly. These are a few of her favorite things. <laughs> right. Or at least they're the things so, I talk about the most. <laughs> all right. So from Sound of Music to uh, CMMC Compliance. So we're going to go. Oh, nope. Wrong one. We're going to talk about this guy, DFARS. Yep. DFARS. Yep. Yeah. This is one of your favorite things. We're going to talk about. Yeah, talk about yep. CMMC. CMMC. And we're going to talk about a third of your favorite things. NIST 800-171. Yes. Woohoo. Woo! All right. So those are a few of her favorite friends. So we're going to talk about these guys today, um, give you guys some explanations, let you know how all these guys work together. And hopefully at the end of this uh, video, you know something that uh, you didn't before and you have some good takeaways. Definitely. All right, so let's uh, get started um, on this conversation, and let's first talk about your first best friend is DFARS. DFARS. So tell us what DFARS is. So DFARS is something that most people, when they talk about it, especially in relation to CMMC or NIST, they're talking about a specific DFARS, which is 7012 is the number. Now, yep. that's, and I get that, but unfortunately, that's not true. So people just say, oh, DFARS, and they assume that everybody knows they're talking about 7012. But in actuality, DFARS is not one specific regulation. It's a bunch of, of federal regulations. So you've got like 7012, 7019, 7020, 7021. There's a bunch of different numbers right. that go along with that. So that's one of the one of the kind of like misconceptions and foundational things that people get confused is they'll say, oh, well, I need to know if it's DFARS compliant. Compliant with which DFARS? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> How I love thee. Let me count the ways. Okay. Um, and so here's your next best friend, um, CMMC. 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 We know we should put it in there, but oh, just tell us what CMMC is. It's the Cybersecurity Maturity Model. So this is what... Certification. Certification. I'm sorry, my goodness, of course. How silly of me. So this actually came about and has its own DFARS. So we're going to get into that later. Just blow everybody's mind. So it has a DFARS. <laughs> CMMC has a DFARS and CMMC's DFARS is not 7012. Right. So just to make things more confusing, right? All right. We're building suspense as they tell you to do in storytelling class. Exactly. So CMMC is then NIST and CMMC are very similar now because CMMC version two is very much a mirror image of NIST 8171. Right. And NIST 8171 also has a DFARS, which is 7012. Oh my gosh. All right. So to try and explain this, you know, how they all work together, I, I thought I'd. Uh, be a little bit proactive and try and make a few slides. So let's just uh, pause for a second here. Okay. So here's how we kind of see the CMMC, DFARS, and NIST family kind of uh, acting at a family reunion. So you have CMMC, and then you have NIST 800-171, and then you have DFARS 7012. And I think we de described them almost like a Venn diagram, first cousins. You know, they have a lot of overlap but they're not the same thing. And so they're kind of, you know, as these separate silos. But let's look at this next slide. This uh, explains how they kind of work together. So now going to present day, you have CMMC, which is a cybersecurity maturity model certification that Noel talked about. And then you have DFARS 7012. And where does NIST come in? 
Well, you have NIST, and it's called out under DFAR 7012. Am I getting this right so far, Noel? Correct. Perfect, Orly. All right. Maybe someday they'll even ask me to do compliance calls. You should. All right. I'm going to actually let you do this next one. This next okay. one. Because this is kind of important. All right. Let's just start it off, though. You have CMMC. Okay. DFAR 7012 calling out NIST. And then who are these guys? Oh, yeah. So DFAR 7019 and DFAR 7020 and DFAR 7021. D DFAR 7019 is talking about subcontract information. DFAR right, 7... Let me get that up. Let me get that up. There we go. Uh, oh, sorry. 7019 70, is talking about SPURS, which is the supplier resource. So essentially what SPURS is, is you have to go into the SPURS system and put in your self-attestation saying... I, at this current moment, am at, you know, 25 out of 110 of the controls for NIST, which again goes back to that 7012 situation, because that's why you have to do that. 7019 came out relatively recently, forcing everybody in the DIB to actually put in information into the SPURS system to make sure that the DOD has actual quantifiable information from every member of the DIB saying, yes, this is where I'm at right now. This is, you know, what I'm going to be doing kind of thing. And then 7020 is subcontractors. So talking about what your subcontractors, what their responsibilities are. This is just a good one to know. It's not necessarily as active, obviously, as 7019 would be or 7012, but it is good to know it. All right. And then the last but not least. Last but not least, like we, we sort of mentioned earlier, CMMC has its own DFARS, which is 7021. The idea, most likely, and again, we can't say for certain, but most likely when the interim rule comes out in May of 2023, DFAR 7021 is likely going to merge with DFAR 7012 to kind of make CM CMMC the overarching. Again, we don't know that for certain, but that is that is the future state, most likely. And so that's how all these guys are going to work together. So let's just go over that one more time because, you know, repetition never hurt the prayer. So you have, I need to make sure that I'm doing this right. So you have, <laughs> you have uh, CMMC and then you have um, DFARS, which now calls on NIST. DFARS now calls on NIST. Yep. But once CMMC is uh, put as an interim rule and becomes the law of the land, uh, DFARS will then call CMMC and what will happen to NIST? So NIST will always be baked into, into CMMC or bake, it could also be, end up being baked into 7021 in the DFARS. This is the thing. We're kind of in a place where we're not exactly sure how it's going to come out. We know an interim rule is going to come out, but there's also been the talk of having that combination of those two different DFARS because there is so many, there's so many people who are confused, understandably, with 7012 and 7021, 7021 being CMMC specific. And then 7012, talking about NIST, <clears throat> excuse me, and FedRAMP certifications for, you know, cloud service providers. So there's there's a lot of confusion there. There is the talk about sort of meshing them together to have all that information in one place so that when people say DFAR 7021 or DFAR 70, whatever, they'll only be talking about one thing instead of two different ones and getting all this confusion that we've been having. Because it's a lot of information. I mean, even what we just explained now, I've talked to many people who have been in the CMMC world for a long time, and they still don't understand how all this stuff plays together. So even though this is the foundation, it's a foundation I think a lot of people are kind of missing just because it's so confusing. Oh my gosh, it is confusing. All right, so going forward, what do we tell people about uh, getting up to date on all of these uh, various terms, understanding what they mean, not just understanding what they mean, but also living them, right? Um, making them part of the, their compliance world. The most important things to remember are what we know right now. So right now, 7012 is the law of the land. That is stating that NIST 800-171 is the standard, that if you have a cloud service provider, they have to be FedRAMP moderate or equivalent. That's what you want to focus on right now quite a bit. Secondarily is also CMMC because that is coming up very quickly. So, but if you are getting ready for, if you're ready for NIST 800-171, you're most likely pretty ready for CMMC as well, right? So- True. That is one thing that's nice is that CMMC, much like the 7012 DFARS, CMMC mirrors NIST 800 anyway. So you've got a crossover where NIST is in 7012 and in CMMC. 
So again, 7012 ends up kind of across both of those. So if you right. think about it like that, that 7012 is the standard. And if you're trying to get ready for CMMC certification, which everybody should be trying to do now, there's only a year left. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. So you want to go ahead and get on that anyway. And another thing to always remember is that NIST or DFAR 7012 has been around since 2017. So right. everybody in the DIB is supposed to already be ready for a NIST 800-171 audit anyway. So we definitely going forward, my thought is focus on the NIST 800 secondarily CMMC, but again, they're very close, so that's fine. And then we're not sure what's going to happen with the DFAR 7021, 7012 yet. We just don't know. Right. Hopefully it'll make it less confusing, but they may not do anything with it at all. And they may just say, oh, it's fine. You can have both. So we don't know yet. All right. Um, and on that important note, I think uh, we've achieved our goal. We've explained these three friends and uh, they can you know, join us at a future, at a future compliance corner. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Thank you, Noelle. Thanks, Orly. Bye. Bye.